around town with Mandy. And with everything going on, I thought it was time for a good old fashioned good news story. I got two for you, socks and sacks. First, ah! have you heard? Oh my goodness. Stevensville Middle School has found a way to help the community and help the school and you get socks. I love socks. I know you love socks, but have you heard? It's the great Socktober. And you can buy socks and send them to everyone. Me, you, the neighbor, Ted, Bruce, George, anybody can get socks. And you're helping the school. This is great. It's the whole month of October. Get it? Socktober. And the PTSA is helping out to help the school. Socktober. The school also is collecting new hats, scarves, gloves, and socks to distribute back out into com the community. They have a drop box at the school, so anything you're willing to donate would be great. Everybody likes to stay warm in the winter. So I'm here at 402 Chesterfield Avenue, the residence of the McNeils, and we're going to learn a little bit about today the backpack program. How are you today, Mr. Fred? Many thanks a million. I'm with my grandson, Derek. And we want to talk about, you know, I was really lucky. Uh, starting last March up to uh, almost September this year, I got involved with the Board of Ed volunteering to help deliver meals, okay, from the Board of Ed and also me uh, the Backpack for Kids program. Which is very important. A lot of people don't take in consideration. Um, a lot of these families rely on this program yes, they do. to eat. Yeah. Um, sometimes two and three meals a day and weekend meals as well. Many of the, uh, we'll talk backpack for kids program. It's a wonderful program. Uh, and just in Centerville, the Catholic Church, the Episcopal Church, and the Methodist Church are all putting together sometimes as many as 50 packets or more of meals. And those packets might contain three or four meals. Yes. And uh, it was a fantastic program. It's continuing again. And I'm going to ask you to help me with all the wonderful people out there in uh, the TV audience. Uh, 402 Chesterfield Ave, five houses down from the Board of Ed, is a drop-off place for food. And we ask them if they just put it right on my front porch, okay, and I guarantee you that it will be delivered to one of the churches within 24 hours, and 100% goes out to the public, and it's a wonderful program. Nice, and we were talking before I got here, um, they do look, not for name specific but for specific items kind of microwaved items things that are easy and quick to warm up for a family can you give me a few ideas i see you have macaroni i have beef like that. was big on the list and you know there's little packets they have beef -roni, they have lasagna they have spaghetti also canned tuna tuna any canned items you know they don't want fresh items okay right. but any canned item like that they'll have and people just drop them off mandy put them on my porch, I throw them in the back of my pickup truck, and they're given out to the community just as quick as they can. And this keeps people who unfortunately need help, okay, makes their life a little bit easier. Thanks to some wonderful people in this community uh, getting behind an effort to feed people who might need, need a little help. Nice, so there you have it. If you're looking for a way, small, but big to help in our community, the backpack program because remember some families do rely on this program so 402 chesterfield is the drop off right on the step you'll probably get away from fred while you're there thank you thanks for watching and i hoped you enjoyed if you know an organization out there that could use some help or that does wonderful things for the community drop a link below or let us know and we'd love to touch out to them and see if we can help in any way and as always, thanks for watching.